been doing forever. Come on, y'all ain't doing it yet. I drank it every day, what God said. And His mercy endures do it forever. And, and His mercy endures do it forever. And His mercy endures do it forever. His mercy endures do it forever. His mercy endures do it forever. My God. Oh, uh, my God. The favor of the Lord is on my life. And if you know that the favor of the Lord is on your life, look at us and say the favor of God is on my life. I don't care if things ain't been going, but you speaking it to your life. I tell you to speak scholarships. I tell you to speak financial freedom. I tell you to speak things that the devil said you did not have. Look at your say, say, the favor of God is on my life. Now I'm going to tell you what you can say that. Because the Bible said, and look at yourself say, self, surely goodness is mercy.
and we brought, and you know what, he would be a, doing a whole lot of things with his life. But we bless God that he showed favor on his life. Come on, put your hands together. And, and because you gave him gratitude, he ain't done nothing. That's just the beginning. He said, it, he's not done with you yet. Amen. Amen. And a lot of things that God released to us, believe it or not, is what we give him. And all of them pray all day. But one thing I can say about all the young people, they get their friends and they talk about God. And they praise God with their friends. Amen. They don't care what the friends think of them. And he's one of the ones. Put your hands together. The Bible says, you be ashamed to own me before men. I'll be ashamed to owe you before my father. Amen. That's what he said. So we, and I want to speak it until when you go back to school. Unexpected scholarships. Unexpected money. Credit on your bill. Favor on your life. From this day forward, may you be inducted into things that you're not even qualified for. Because the grace that you have released and the gratitude that you have given today are speaking into your life. Never the same. Never the same. May you be the head at the beginning of many things at that school. With your name, Father, put your blessed hands together. Bless God. Who died so good? So, that's it. Watch the door until I get ready to hold it. Everybody say, release. 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 Now, you know that everything you know God to do, He will do it. Only thing you gotta do is open your mouth and ask Him to do it. Testifying, 
And the way she says she trusts God, and she speaks with authority. They speak with authority. If they trust God, he, we can turn some things around and do things for them. Maybe I should start trusting God. He's going to do the same for me. So I'm like, all right. I need something to stick with me, though. I need something to, like, hold on to. So I started looking up trust. And I looked up a Bible scripture, and I found one of the most famous trust Bible scriptures, which is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Yes, yes. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. All your ways is God you, and he shall direct your paths. Yeah, he shall direct your paths. So, we need to trust God with all our heart. Amen. And we don't need to worry about how he's going to do it, when he's going to do it. That's not too our understanding. My God can do anything. He's our creator. He's the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega. So we tend to not believe that God can do all things. We tend to lose our faith in him. And we be like, oh, this is too big for God. Can't, God can't do this for me. God can't do that for me. It's too big. But we have to listen to Jeremiah and know that there is nothing that is too big for God. So... We need to be still and know that he is God or whatever. So there's a couple people in the Bible that had to trust God in their circumstances. We have Zechariah and Elizabeth with a long trust and a long period of time of trusting. So Elizabeth was questioning God because she couldn't bear a child or whatever. But in the end, she ended up bearing a child. Then we have Abraham and Sarah. So God that Abraham was going to be the father of all nations on yeah, yeah, yeah. and then Sarah couldn't bear children but come to find out that God able Sarah to bear a child. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so then we have the lady with the issue of blood or whatever. She has so much faith in God. She was like, if only I could touch his shoulder, that I would be healed. So she did that and she was healed. Alright, so then we have Job. Y'all know the story with Job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God allowed Satan, he allowed Satan to test his faith. And Job lost everything. He lost all his property, his son, and his wife, or whatever. And she was like, his wife was like, you should just curse God and die. But in the midst of Job's storm, Job was like, though they slay me, yet I trust in the Lord. Okay? Who else we have? We have Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. All right. All right so this, this is one of my favorite ones. Because uh, King Nebuchadnezzar was wanting them to worship this, this image, this idol that he had created or whatever. But they was like, no, I'm not going to do that. And they was like, if they, 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 they trusted God was going to get them out of that fiery furnace. And he did it just that. All right. So... Yeah, so we, we, need to, we need to trust God. Even if you don't see him, we need to trust God. Even if you can't feel his touch, we need to trust God. Yeah. I, got a, I had a couple of situations where I had to trust God. My first situation was getting pregnant with my son. It seemed like I had just told God. I'm like, God, whenever you give me a son, I need to be financially stable or whatever. But next thing you know, I found out I was pregnant. I'm like, God. I said I need to be financially stable. Yeah. And but to this day, my baby is six months and we don't want or need for nothing. And I thank God for that one. And then another situation about in the midst of being pregnant with him, they said that um, I think it was his seven weeks or whatever, they said that his arms and legs was too short for his um weeks or whatever, and they was like, we need to check on it again. Yeah, yeah. And then I was telling my mom, I was like, I remember what Tony was saying, and I was like, we trust God, I trust God. Because at first, when I used to trust God in the beginning, I was like, I used to be iffy about it. I'm like, okay, God, I trust you, but when are you going to do it? How are you going to do this? But now, I say it with authority, oh, I trust God and leave the situation alone. Just like this situation I'm in right now, I still trust that he's going to bring me out. Because we got this part, we need to go a little more. I trust God that God is going to bring me to be no felon at all. It's going good right now, but I need him to finish his process. So I trust God for that. So I believe that we all need to trust him wholeheartedly. Because he's 
gonna do it. It don't matter how long it's gonna take, but he's gonna do it. And that's my Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, I trust God. Amen. That was beautiful, Jemiah. Come on, put your hands together again for her. Amen. You can tell she did her homework. Amen. She did her homework. Amen. God is amazing. Amen. And I just wait on God when God gives me something to give the people. I just give it to them. I don't know. Sometimes I just be doing something and God will put the person in my spirit and he'll put what he wants them to say and speak on. And I just bless God that every time it has been a testament of their life or what they're going through. Amen. Come on, put your blessed hands together. Y'all, well done. Well done. Well done. Amen. At this time, let's do our tithe and our offering. Amen. All at one time. Amen. We just bless God because God is doing a great work in here in New Shine at Night. Amen. We thank God for bringing a bishop First Lady and myself, all of us home. Amen. Put your hands together. He watched over us, over the airways, byways. We thank God that he brought us back. We had a good time, able to vacation. And it's okay to go vacation. You, you, you need to. Amen. Just for some relaxation. And then always got to be about something. Just go enjoy yourself. Amen. Home away from home. Amen. We thank God for we want to remind everybody going on this Wednesday, the choir will be featured um, at McKendry College at 6 p.m. They have a lot of great people that are on the um, program that they're bringing in. It's for the Ukraine people. Amen. And they're featuring our choir and our praise dancers. Amen. So we need to know um, they have reserved parking spaces. I know people probably wonder why she keep texting me because they, they do things in business. They do it in the business in, in the right way. So we need to know all that's going to go and all that's going to support because they're reserving us parking spaces. Uh, we have a room. We have everything. So we ask that if you plan on going even to just support us, let us know because we have to know how many vehicles that we need. It's on with this Wednesday. Yes, sir. It's this Wednesday at McKenzie Club. Church say Mary again. We're gonna be this Wednesday. Church gonna be gone here. We are cancel Bible class this Wednesday. Have it again next Wednesday. Amen. Bible class will be canceled this Wednesday. Amen. Uh, get ready for our offering. She's standing here for Pastor Shug. Remember this for her.
got me too good, y'all. Got them problems, got them kept got them blessed. I'm preaching now, I don't know what y'all are doing. This is my family right here. When I get you, we're going to go to the church. I got it, man. I know I'm preaching. One thing you can do, two things. You can be glad or you can stay mad. Right. Now what I'm going to help you. If you stay mad, then I know I'm done with y'all. Amen. Amen. God is just so good. God want to bless you. I say God want to bless you. That's the kind of God he'll be. He wants to bless you. God wants you to be a good help. He wants to. Our God wants to. You hear what I say? I know he good. I mean, I know he good. I mean, I know he's a good God. If it wasn't for the Lord, y'all gonna fight y'all over there. One for the Lord. Oh my God. I don't know where I go.
give it up for the bishop. Amen. Again, we thank you for tuning in for the Blue Shine and Light Church, 740 Broadway, New York City of Venice, Illinois, where the right bishop, John H. Williams, and Lady Linda Williams is our overseer. Until this time next week, may God please be with you until we meet again. May God bless you and may he keep you. Come on, put your blessings together. Come on, let's be a blessing to the bishop real quick and we're going to take a power.